well perfect okay hello everyone thanks for switching out to this video my name is bhupesh sharma i'll be telling you how to spin up a k3 mini cube cluster onto your windows machine so that you can quickly create any number of pods or application onto that you know cluster without taking any kind of virtualization or anything extra so yeah let's get started without wasting any time i'll show you my system configuration details so that you can match it with yours so i'll be coming onto the properties of this it is uh, uh, coming on this properties i'll be showing it's a 12 generation i5 processor with 16 gb of ram 64 bit operating system so this is the laptop configuration the same thing can be done it on any uh, you know cloud virtual machine also okay so let's get started so first of all this uh, this documentation is already uploaded onto the uh, github repository so this is my github i'll be pasting this github repository link into the description of the video so that you can you know blindly follow this and make sure that the cluster is up within five minutes so i'll be targeting that within five minutes you'll be able to spin up a mini cube cluster on your machine perfect so let's get started so you know first of all you need to have a, a wsl in enabled on your machine how to install wsl uh, onto the windows machine? it's pretty easy you need to just come here open uh, powershell as an administrator as an administrator the moment the powershell is being opened you need to just try it wsl install since wsl was already installed as on my machine it will you know give you a message ubuntu is already installed launching ubuntu perfect now ubuntu is here and I can quickly do a WSL update also so that it shows the I am onto the latest version. Let me come out of it. Fine. Okay, so it's checking for the update whether I'm on the latest version of WSL. Yes, I'm on the latest version, it's already installed. So I simply close this window. Now, first step is completed. Now I need to install Ubuntu app from the Microsoft Store. I'll come here and I'll type Microsoft Store. I'll open it. I'll write Ubuntu here. So you'll see a lot of apps. So you just simply either click this one or 22.04, which one you feel I have already installed both of them. So you need to open this click this icon it will just install ubuntu on your machine perfect so once the moment you will install it will take another minute or so and ubuntu will be installed the moment ubuntu is installed you can come here and then search ubuntu it will you know, come up it will show up like this you click this because since wsl has already installed on your machine the ubuntu will pop up automatically the first time it will ask for your username and password just simply give that username and password then the machine will be up now my second step is also also done Ubuntu app is already downloaded now i need to install the docker which is a very very important step we need to understand and we should, we need to make sure that it, this does not fail so i'm following this preference documentation but you don't need to worry about it you need to simply come to this uh, you know steps that you need to follow you don't need to run all these of stuff you need to just come here and simply run these steps one by one i'll just run it for you so that it becomes crystal clear how to run it on your machine so th now this is asking a sudo command i'm just giving a password come on fine so the get update is done i just run simply the second command which will just simply add the certificates and install the certificates now this will you know install then provide the permissions to the certificate things i run the curl the reason I'm running all these commands so that you know it becomes easy for you. Let me run this again. It becomes easy for understanding for you. In case of any issues, you can see quickly resolve it. So this is done. Now next thing is just creating signatures. Now this is the final update I'll do before I install Docker. After updating certificates now this is done now this is the command which will install the you know docker docker cli everything since everything is already installed on your machine 
it, it came up quickly, but in your machine, it might take around five to 10 minutes to make sure that the Docker is completely installed. Docker is installed. And if you get any kind of error, these kind of error, the Docker has no, you know, installation candidate, something like that, unable to find the package, then you need to install this, these prerequisite packages that are actually needed to install this Docker CE and Docker CE CLI. The moment you install this piece, uh, you again need to run these two commands again, and then the Docker will be up. These, these things are only if the Docker is not running properly. Now, since you're doing everything from your root command, you need to make sure that you know your user ID should get access to the Docker group. So you will just simply add, add that user uh, group, uh, user ID to the Docker group, and then simply make sure that you have access to that, uh, this file. Perfect. Now you need to, you know, come out of it and then open the Ubuntu again. Fine, let me see whether Docker is installed or not. Docker is here. Do I have any kind of images? Yes, we have image. I can do a quick Docker pull also uh, to make sure that it is pulling. So you can simply uh, run this command just to check whether the Docker is running. Yeah, see, you can see the Docker is running perfectly fine. Now the next step, next step is now your Docker is up, your Ubuntu is up. Uh, now you need to just install the you know K3D cluster. Now K3D is again uh, is uh, is another uh, binary which is written in GoLang, and this will spin up a single node or multi node cluster to your uh, environment, uh, the Docker based environment, because it runs as a container. We can read this documentation, but you know without reading documentation, you can simply follow these steps quickly. Copy this. Run this. You can run it from your ID also. See, since it is already installed, it will give you this message. Otherwise, it will just quickly install within a fraction of seconds. The binary will get installed. Installed guide it is it is actually copying the binary to your bin directory. Right? See, it is already there. Now Ubuntu is here, everything is K3D is here. We need to just spin up a new cluster. The K3D cluster. So I'll just create new mini cube small cluster. So you can see the containers might be running. See, the moment I'll just create new cluster, it will create a new cluster. So you can simply copy this, create a test cluster. Let me do a test cluster name, new name. Now it will just spin up a cluster on that container. Okay. So you don't need to additionally install the Docker desktop, that heavy, uh, you know, tool to make sure to create a mini cube cluster. Right. So I can simply run this cube CTL cluster information. And again, and I'll just see cube CTL get pods. There are no pods currently. You can ignore these warnings. And then I'll just uh, okay. Before I create pods, I need to install kubectl because these kubectl commands will not be able to. It will you know give error. So let me just quickly uh, run this view. With the help of view, I will view is another binary which will help to install other softwares in you know, Ubuntu or Linux. So I'm just installing brew here. Since it is already done on my machine, it, it, it doesn't take much time to do that. But still, you need to just follow these commands. And then, you know, ultimately, this is the work command which will. Things brew is already there, you can see. It will take, it, it won't take much time. Perfect. So now you need to replace this ID with your ID. And then add it to your, uh, uh, you know, shell directory so that it can be readable when you type this brew help. Perfect. Brew is there. Now with the help of brew, you can you install the kubectl. Since it is already installed, it won't take much time. Yeah, it is already installed. And then I'll just to uh, check the version of this version client. 
Yeah. Perfect. Now I'll just run this pod, test pod on my cluster, which I recently created. Now this will create a pod called as my curl pod, which is actually pulling an image from curl images. And I simply come out of this container, kubectl get pods. Fine, I can see one pod is running and it is running in this default namespace. Right, and I can see the kubectl get node information also. So this is a single node cluster which is being created using K3D. And I can see the cluster information again. This no. Yeah. So uh, control plane is running at this thing. Uh, code DNS running here. Matrix server is running here. So yeah. So cube detail is up. The pod is up. And suppose if you want to create any kind of Helm charts, you can simply run uh, create uh, install Helm also using this view. So I'll do that. I'll install Helm using Brew. Helm is already installed on my machine, so I'll just do Helm list. So since there are no Helm chart on this default namespace, it is an empty cluster. It will just fill the use. Suppose you want to delete uh, the cluster that you created uh, just now. So if you see Docker PS, you'll have uh, two clusters, the test cluster and my cluster, which was created earlier. So I'll delete everything. And this is a command for you know, deleting all the clusters. So you can simply run this. Yes, that's it. Your clusters are also gone. Everything is gone. So with this, uh, you know, short uh, documentation, uh, if you do a Docker PS, see nothing is there. And if you see kubectl get nodes, nothing is there. Everything is being wiped out. So you can quickly spin up a cluster within a fraction of uh, seconds, and we can you know delete the cluster rather than having uh, you know bulky things on your machine. So again, let me create a cluster. See. Cluster is up within the single node cluster is up within fraction of I guess a minute or so, not more than that. K3D is a very powerful uh, you know tool to create uh, clusters. So yeah, what was the uh, a quick recap what we did in this entire uh, you know video? The again cluster is up. See Docker PS. Perfect. Kubectl get nodes. You get about these uh, warnings and you can simply run this pod again just to make sure that communication is happening yeah exit kubectl get pod see the pod is running perfectly kubectl Get namespace. So I can see how many names is default names is. I can create new names also. Keep it create and uh, suppose I want to install Grafana. So I need I'm installing right keep it get pod minus and Grafana. We don't have any resources on the Grafana. Instance. So quickly summarizing the, the steps, you know, we have installed all these eight steps. Uh, first of all, we have installed WSL and then Ubuntu app and then finally Docker on that Ubuntu. And then the next step is um, once Docker is up, create spinning up a K3D container. Once the K3D container is there, then we need to install Brew to make sure that Cube we are able to install Cube CTL and Helm, and then you know to run a test pod. So yeah, that is what that is what about creating a small mini cube cluster on your Windows machine. I hope you like the video. Click subscribe to have more videos something like that. So I'll be posting a lot of videos on to the open source monitoring, uh, you know, using DevOps flavor. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.